free information booklet. Plus, when you call now, you'll get this magnified. Hi. Um, this is just a little update that I'm making um, to give you some further details of um, the modification that I'm doing on the cross slide index handle and as I've explained in previous videos uh, this is a, a ball handle that I'm going to put on the lathe on the cross slide uh, and I'm going to do away with this the original tag uh, handle uh, but I'm going to keep this part here and what I'm doing at the moment is um, uh, I've made I've made a, a Delrin uh, ring that revolves on a mild steel plug which is going to go and replace the original handle and that's going to go on there like that okay so now um, I'm making this wider than the original tag uh, handle here um, as you can see it's going to be uh, wider that allows me to get more uh, room for the lines and the numerals and also to include a straight knurled uh, addition on this end so that it makes it easy for me to um, to revolve the Delrin index around for zeroing. So uh, in the in the course of, of doing that and also adding this little ball handle on here as well uh, it means that the lead screw shaft um, with the five, uh, two, 256 button head that goes in the end it needs to be longer because this is wider so I have to add an extension onto the lead screw of the cross slide and that's what I'm doing at the moment and um, uh, just to give you an indication of of what I've done is um, instead of turning up a, uh, a shaft with uh, uh, and using a die a, a 256 die to put a thread on the end of the of the extension um, what I did I didn't have a die anyway so um, I, I but I did have a tap so um, I bought some 256 stainless screws button head and um, I drilled the end of an extension the end of this extension and drilled it and tapped it 256 then I loctited a little a little length of screw in there hope you can see that I don't, I've got the blind up I don't know whether that's going to affect the the video or not but anyway um, so this is like a sample it's just a mold steel piece of mold steel that I turned down the same diameter as the shaft diameter the uh, lead screw shaft diameter and um, uh, tried that out and it it I can tell it's going to work but unfortunately the, th the thread was running out just a little bit so that this diameter here after I'd machined it down to the same side as the same size as the shaft um, when I screwed it into the end of the lead screw um, it was running out about three thou and so that meant that when when I went to slide this in through this plug um, 
it wouldn't it wouldn't load into the lead screw shaft it was running out a little bit and so I had a bit of a lip there so to overcome that I got a larger piece of material and drilled it and tapped it and then lock tightened it into the end of the shaft and what I'm doing now is um, the, the actual shaft was running, it's running out about two thou. These collets, uh, they're not the best of, of collets, I'm sure. Uh, they, they're Chinese. And uh, so, anyway, two thou. Uh, I think it'll be okay. It won't, it won't mean that this is too loose on there. It's going to be locked on anyway. And the idea of this is that I can lock it onto the shaft and then thread the index over the top and then I've got no holes in the index delrin. Uh, so um, I think that's going to work okay. Um, so I'm in the process now of um, uh, machining the piece of material that I've added onto the end of the shaft and uh, machining it down to the same size as the shaft and I'll double check it to make sure that this s slides on and doesn't interfere with the actual original lead screw shaft uh, so um, that's what I'm doing at the moment so it's uh, it's coming along and um, uh, I think it's going to be fine. We'll have to see. So anyway, I'm going to. Um, I've been adjusting the tailstock to get the the shaft running true from both ends, and I've now got that uh, done. So um, I'll just uh, I'll just uh, measure it and show you. There it is there, it's at 5, that's at the front end, and here, it's a half a thou, half a thou difference, approximately, um, this is an old mic, um, so, it should be okay. So, I'm just going to set this up again. and hope that it's going to machine okay. Now we'll check it. I'll take 10 thou. Got quite a nice finish. I don't know what the material is. It's it's quite a nice machinable mould steel. Um, pre machining. I'm running the lathe at a thousand uh, eleven hundred, and uh, I don't know what the feed is. get to the end here I'll I'll check the dimension again to make sure it's still running parallel. and a half. It might be a couple of tenths difference, that's about it. So, okay, I've got to... There's 196 and this is 
22. So that's uh, at least 22. I'll take 20 thou off. Uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just take 10. Because it's it's attached to by a, a 256 screw. And I don't want to put too much torque on the cut. have to make another one. stop. Yeah. Always something. Okay. That's 20. made it extra long because it allows me to remove material when I get to the final stages. Um, that would be the worst thing if it's too short. You can always take it off but it's not so easy to put it back on again. Two oh four and a half. Two oh four. It's about ten thou. No, eight thou. Eight thou. Six thou. Two 
Schön ist er. I wish I could stop the camera and pause it and then when I'm getting to the end of finishing I could then just switch it on again but I don't know how to do that. Uh, it's a damn nuisance because if I stop it now I have to start a new, a new uh, video. So. I think that will probably just about be there. Bit of polishing should do the trick. That's half a thou to take off. Half a thou. Now, let's see if I can get this. Hmm. I should have. I should have moved the quill out further so that I huh. well I guess I'll have to move it Yeah, a little bit of polishing. Yeah, that should be nice. A little touch of polish. So I'm going to switch off now because I'm getting close to the end of uh, my USB. I think it's almost full, so um, we'll see what takes place.